Welcome here. Welcome back to the channel, man. I'm going to tell you, we're going to talk about a pole converter installation. Uh, installation as in, as in uh, install it and into the, into the transmission. Most cats do their transmission repair on a table. Um, this one is the one you just simply had to remove the torque converter and stick in a new one per the insurance company. Okay, we had no role in diagnosing this car. They just want us to drop the trans and replace the torque converter. Well, in dropping the trans, I'm having a hard time installing the torque converter back into the transmission. Let me go over what I'm talking about because you have to make sure the, trans, the torque converter is seated all the way in the back inside the input clutch assembly. It has two gears, an input shaft and a, the front pump shaft. It has to clear. Those spline has to clear. It has to set all the way back. Okay, if not, you will be fighting trying to get this torque converter to turn while you put in the torque converter bolts. Okay, so let me go over with you what I'm talking about. First of all, let me stop right there. When you're dealing with stuff like this, wear gloves, not rubber gloves, but cloth gloves, uh, some kind of glove because these are very sharp. All right, let me put that disclaimer out there. I'm using a rag because I'm kind of in a hurry right now. But all right, every time, anytime you set a uh, torque converter inside a transmission case, of course you need to turn, turn, turn until you hear that special bloop. You transmission guys know what I'm talking about on that bloop sound. Well, I never got a chance to hear that. No matter how much I turn, no matter how much I pull out and put back in, I never could get this torque converter to go all the way back. So now some guys say it's easier to set it on his backside and spin it and work his way until it just falls down. Even that didn't work. So I'm back on the jack and I gotta, I've done enough to know the clearance, to feel the clearance between the back with my fingers. And I am not all the way on them. So I'm gonna tell you what I found, what I end up doing. Uh, simply removing the torque converter back out because I'm frustrated at this point. And while taking it out, I simply set the torque converter on the table, chair, whatever you use. Okay, let me put two on the camera so y'all can see. Now, oh, let me remove the camera. So, as you can see, what I found is this. This is what's stopping me from going all the way on. Okay, so when I remove this torque converter to replace um, this front pump and put in a torque converter, the seal came out with the old pump and actually it is stuck on there. You can't, you see that? You get a good look. That is the outside of the front pump seal. It is stuck on the torque converter. That's why I'm not getting that clearance. That is too much space. That, that's what's not allowing this torque converter to go all the way inside the shaft, the front pump shaft and the input shaft okay we have got to remove this and why it's stuck on there like that i do not know but once i get it off i do will do more inspection but for now i just wanted y'all to see this so y'all will be aware if you're having a hard time installing the torque converter inside the transmission pull it back out and just look around in this area okay i want to keep this video short so that's all i have man uh problem after problem with this car thanks for watching comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video